result uh, of what we're saying to our hearts. Uh, Father God, let us transform it, Father God. Let us transform it, Father God. Let us transform what we're saying so our hearts could be aligned. Oh, Father God, our, if our heart is full of truth because what we spoke to ourselves or is our heart full of lies because the lies that we choose to believe instead, we will not believe the, tr- the lies of the enemy, but we will rise up and, and take up the Prince of Peace and take up the character of Christ and take up what we are to be for such a time as this in the name of Jesus. It matters what we say to ourselves. It matters what we say to ourselves. It matters what we say. It matters what we do. It matters what we think. It matters how we continue to walk in the name of Jesus. We don't take this moment for lightly, but we take this moment knowing that God has made a way. We take this moment knowing that the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords will continue to give us a chance to remember that it matters what we say to ourselves. It matters what we say to our mind. It matters what we say to our hearts. It matters what we say to our soul. Amen. So let our soul bless the Lord. Let our soul bless the Lord. Let our soul bless the Lord. And as we bless the Lord, he will give us the identity that we're yearning for. He will give us the identity that we're yearning for for such a time as this in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Ha rebeke shasaya rababa rababa kasha saya rabaka shasi rebeke shasobaka rababa kasha sa God's truth God's word is truth John 17 17 reminds us that Hallelujah thank you Jesus Remind us to sanctify them in truth. Your word is truth. Let us be sanctified in truth. And because his word is truth. His word will never lie to us. His word will never leave us. His word will never forsake us. So let us be sanctified. Let us sanctify us in truth. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There is nothing in the Bible that isn't true. There is nothing in the Bible that isn't true. So let's stand on the word. Let's bring the Bible back to life in our lives. Let's bring the Bible back to life in our children's lives. Let's bring the back Bible back to life in our workplaces, in, in our schools, in everything that we do, Father God. We want to be able to put you first. As we put you first, you will give us the words to say to ourselves in the midst of stress. We don't add on to stress, but we remember that we have complete victory in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us look through scripture with confidence. Let us look through scripture with confidence. And Isaiah 45, 19 reminds us that I, the Lord, speak the truth. I declare what is right. He declares 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 what is right. If he declares what is right, then he says he's the way, the truth, and the light. So this is the God that we must follow. This is the God that we must remember that his example is what needs to ring a bell in our lives so we can be transformed, molded, and shaped in the name of Jesus, Father God. We put to trust that our lives is over if we don't get this job. We put the trash so that, that this will ruin us if it doesn't work out. We put to trash. I guess it's all up to me now. We put to trash. I can't believe God let this happen. We put to trash. How can I go on like this and remember what the truth have said? We remember what the truth have done. We remember what the truth continues to develop within us. We remember what the truth continues to give us a chance to taste and see that the Lord is really, 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 really good. He's amazing good. He's the bread of life. He's the bread of life to sustain our spirit for such a time as this. And we 
pick up. We pick up that we will not be afraid because God is with us. We pick up we will not be afraid because God is with us. We pick up that we will not be afraid because God is with us. We pick up He is my help and my salvation. We pick 